What's up guys, this is Josh from Fresh Start Customs coming to you today with how to engrave multiple images all at once to save you some time um, depending on how you have it laid out at the time. So for example, um, I'm gonna just use this star for a quick example here. Um, and what we're gonna do is I actually already saved files um, of these stars and did test prints for you guys to save some time in the video. But essentially, we have one star that we're starting out here. Um, what we're gonna do is click on this star, go to Object, and click on uh, Rasterize. And we'll just leave it on white there. Click OK. So we're gonna just treat this star as an image. So let's say it's a photo engraving of your dog or something like that. Um, so we have this photo engraving here. And what we can do is we can actually copy this three times. Um, so you have three individual um, engravings. All I did was I saved this as one star on an SVG file. And I actually got that right here on my computer. And then what I did was import that into the Glowforge interface and copied it three times with Command or Control and C and Control and V to paste. So this is just one star that's individually rasterized three times side by side. And then I hit print. And as you can see, it comes out to 13 minutes and 13 seconds for your print time. So what we did after that um, is we actually went back into Illustrator, uh, copied this star, and moved them side by side up here. And we did it three times, put it in the exact same place. Um, I'm just doing a quick version of it here. Um, we put it in the exact same place and centered them all side by side. So they're exactly in the same place, same settings. Um, and as you can tell right now, they are all individually rasterized. So this is essentially what the Glowforge was doing before when I copied and paste. They're all individual images. So technically, if we were following what we said earlier, if this was an image of your dog, you'd have three images of your dog. Um, but it would be however you lay out your interface with whatever product you're using. So essentially this is telling the Glowforge that it's going to laser engrave this rasterized image first at, on a separate line. It's going to go back and forth, back and forth until it engraves. And then it's going to go over to this next one and do the same thing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it engraves. And then it'll do this next one back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth until it engraves. So that's what takes 13 minutes and 13 seconds there. So as you can tell, that's a long time for just three little stars there. And um, I made sure I used all the same material settings, same speeds, um, same images in the same spot to make it as quick as possible. So this is three individual rasterized images. And what we're gonna do is now that we have it all selected here, we're gonna go up to object and rasterize all three images at one time. And we'll just leave it on the white background and click OK. So now as you can see, these are three stars, but they're all one rasterized image now. So the Glowforge is now going to go all the way across, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, all the way to the top until all three of these are all engraved at one complete pass. So it's going to do them all at once. And I, I saved this previously, like I said, to um, an SVG file. I just named it stars instead of just a single star. And then this time, as you can tell, saved about three minutes. It's the exact same setting, exact same placement, um, exact same material. As you can see over here, if you want to rewind the video, you can see I used thick maple plywood. That's what I use normally for settings. So just giving you a heads up on that. So that saved just shy of three minutes worth of engraving time. So that's just something I wanted to show you guys it will help with speeds. Now, keep in mind, if you have an image that is um, longer height wise, it's going to take a long time to engrave versus uh, width wise here. So what I did is I took this image, that's all three at once, 
and then I rotated it to go up and down and that's what that other image on the desktop is here and as you can see it is 13 minutes and 33 seconds so it's longer than the other ones that were side by side that were individual and the reason being is when I tilted all three of them together from side to side to up and down you can see the stars rotated a little bit so now that machine has to do this little tiny area on each star first back and forth back and forth all the way to the top so that's where we get the extra 20 seconds worth of engrave time um, now essentially if I twisted all these stars straight up and down more than likely it's going to be 13 minutes and 13 seconds just like it was before because technically all it's doing is each star individually again because they're all stacked on top of each other and it can't do it all in one pass when it's going back and forth so if you do have an image that's straight up and down you may want to just rotate that image so it's sideways and you could save a significant amount of time by doing that so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that because this is a question that comes up often why um, my images show up with different in, uh, engraves at different sections so let's say let's say all three of these stars were separate and you had all three stars over on the left hand side to select from you could technically be engraving a star up here and then if you had another star over here it would go all the way down here and engrave that star and then all the way back down here um, so that will speed up some time if you have two images that are side by side in the same line path so if you had another star right over here and these two are on the same one then it can go back and forth again um, so just keep in mind this could be something that speeds up your time or it could slow down the time if you have a huge white gap in between because then it has to go all the way across and then all the way back again so just a heads up on all of that I hope this helps you guys out um, if you like these kind of videos let me know again and uh, we'll talk to you next time